Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do a standing back handspring. Step number one is a backbend kickover. This technique will help you by getting your feet over your head and getting the motion down. Step number two is the same thing, but with your feet together. It's basically like step one, but it's gonna help you have more power in your legs. You wanna make sure that you're pushing with your shoulders, cause that's a big part of getting power from your back handspring. Because if you, if you don't pop your shoulders, then your hands are gonna stay on the ground. Step number three is just making the whole thing faster. Step four is a back walkover and pushing off your shoulders once you put your hands on the ground. But this step isn't required because you don't need a back walkover to do a back handspring.